Yeah, it wouldn't be an episode if Creature Digger didn't get his cross, right? Well, hello everybody. It's Friday, it's my day off. I'm on the road, I'm headed out to the lakes this morning. Uh, two lakes uh, specifically I'm gonna hit. One lake has three public swimming areas and three private swimming areas. And so I'm gonna, my son is up here camping at this lake. And so they're gonna take me on the boat and float me out to the uh, three private uh, areas. And so I'm gonna get to hit, hit them. And hopefully we're gonna find something in those areas because uh, nobody's really hunting them. Uh, and so uh, we're gonna see what we come up with and I'm gonna come back home and hit a lake close to my house. So seven different swim areas, two different lakes, and we're just gonna see what we can get. We're gonna give it our best shot. We'll see if we can't make you guys a good video. And uh, so I've got about an hour drive to go, so I will see you out in the water. I didn't get anything yet the first swim area. Uh, I think it had already been hunted because when I pulled up to the second swim area, there was somebody hunting that one. So I just skipped over that one. I'll go back over there maybe later on this evening. So I'm at the third swim area before I go hit the prize ones. So maybe I'll get something here. So let's jump in, see what we get. stainless steel chain that's a good sign uh, earlier I had dug that uh, oh I don't know what it was it was some type of a little necklace uh, it was a Catholic piece of Catholic jewelry I believe is what it was if I can get it out of my pocket I'll uh, show it to you one more time let's see I've got uh, a little piece of Catholic jewelry looks like it's got the Madonna on one side and maybe some type of saint on the other side I got that, and then I just dug up, you just saw on the video, a uh, stainless steel chain. So, that's two good finds. So that's promising. Maybe, maybe there's a ring out here. Let's go for it. Let's keep looking. I was getting a 44, 45, real scratchy sound. Uh, it's a stainless steel ring out in deep in the water. It's been in there a while. You can see the lake stain on it. It stained the uh, stainless steel. It's uh, kind of a real glittery looking ring. Anyway, it's my first ring. Uh, it's out deep. That's what I'm searching out for right now, out in the deep area. So let's keep on going so we can get it. That wouldn't be an episode if Preacher Digger didn't get his cross, right? So, out here it's still in chin deep water, uh, ringing up like a 40, 44, 45, somewhere around there, and uh, stainless steel cross. All right, there's some stuff out here in the deep. Let's keep working it. Well, I'm sitting here waiting on my friend. He dropped me off. Here he comes. And I just thought I'd give you a little wrap up. I went to that uh, one swimming hole where I went, and the man was there detecting, and I saw I left and went and hit the other swimming area, and that's where I found that. Uh, actually, I thought it was a, silver, a stainless steel chain, but it's actually a 925 chain. I found that uh, stainless ring and uh, that uh, Catholic piece of jewelry and uh, that cross there. And that's all I found, uh, plus an earring, and it's all been that one swim area. And I came over to this area, this is a campground swim area, and I got two more campground swim areas to hit. And uh, so far, no luck, but uh, got some rain moving in. Hopefully I can get it, uh, get it done before it starts thundering and lightning. But... Uh, 
yeah, it's been a fairly good day. Going to hit a lake going in today when I go home, and I'm going to be at the lake all day tomorrow with my family. I'm going to hit that lake, and so hopefully we'll find a good stuff, a lot of good stuff, and make a good uh, video for you guys. So, all right, well, here comes my ride. So let's shut this down and get to the next spot. I'll see you in the water. <laughs> Getting a 48 solid, and uh, it looks like it's going to be a stainless steel ring. It took me a while to get it up. It's kind of clay bottom. It's just kind of pushing all around down here. All right, that's ring number two for today. I'm in this private swim area, and so that's promising. I've been out there maybe 20 minutes and got my first ring. All right, let's keep at it. All right, I moved on from that other lake. Uh, out of the seven, six swimming holes on the lake, I hit five of them. Storm came in, I couldn't do it, but I did get a ring out of that last wing hole. So I come on down to the seventh area here, this uh, lake close to my house, and uh, just got out here. Let's see what we can find. Uh, hopefully uh, we're gonna get a few good items. So let's see what we can get. Let's go have some fun. first target out here it's a little little gun that went on on a necklace I guess a little toy gun that's kind of neat isn't it eh, let's keep on going well just right beside that uh, toy gun I got this uh, I don't know if it's a wing or what is it, it says it says Clyde on it, it says Clyde and uh, it's ringing up like a 72, the other was ringing up like a uh, 50, 51. All right, two pieces of jewelry, first three targets, let's keep going. Man, I haven't even been out here five minutes and already got that uh, little gun necklace, I just got that Clyde little necklace and uh, just right beside it, I'm just, I'm within five feet of all that, just got my uh, first ring out here. Looks like a wedding band, like a little, like a little crown. Uh, it looks uh, like gold plated. It doesn't look uh, precious metal, but anyway, I'll take it. All right, let's keep on going. Getting a real jumpy 74, 72, 74, 75. I'm thinking it's going to be a, a zinc penny. But heavens no, look at that. That is nice necklace right there, isn't it? It's got an eagle, an anchor. I like that. And I'm not, uh, well, maybe 20 feet from where I found that other stuff. So I'm definitely in a hot spot right here. This is where the area I've always come and find stuff right in here. So, all right, let's keep looking. Well, it's getting late and I'm about ready to call it a day, but I just got this 83 signal and it's a silver ring. Looks like it's got the letter U on it. I don't know. Hey, I'll take silver. The last couple I've been digging was stainless steel, but for the two hours I've been out here, hour and a half, it's really paid off. I've gotten those three necklaces and these two rings and doing real good. So, all right, I'm tired. I'm hungry. I've done work this section out pretty good. I think I'm gonna call it a day and, and go uh, go home and do a wrap up. It's too dark by the time I get home to do a wrap up, so I'll probably just lay everything out tomorrow and show it to you. So let's go home, let's do it. Well, made it in the lakes from the lakes yesterday. Uh, it was too late to even set up everything, so I got out here today 
in between all the rain this is really unusual for texas to be so wet we had rain uh, just about every day in the last week i mean not just rain thunderstorms and stuff in texas that's just not right uh, usually it's very dry here but anyway in between the storms and the sh and the rain i got it all laid out let me turn you around let me show you what i got all right here i'm hunting again with my at pro i just love hunting with this at pro on custom mode on pro custom discrimination at about 30 and uh, sensitivity all the way up today on this hunt and uh but i just love hunting with my at pro hey y'all like that little clock on the side i dug that out of the lake not long ago but uh here's my trash there's all the uh, foil and aluminum can parts all the beaver tails and square tabs, some uh, old nail and fish weight. Here's all the bottle caps, all the uh, uh, aluminum caps, and then here is the money. Didn't dig a whole lot of money this time. I've got 11 pennies and two nickels. We ended up with seven dimes and uh, eight uh, nine quarters, two dollars and twenty-five cents. But on the two lakes that I went to out of the, the seven potential swimming areas only two produced and the two produced quite a bit i got a uh, couple of ear studs there and one earring did get a nice chain i thought at first it was a stainless steel but as i got to, to the end you can see there it's 925 italy it's an actually a silver chain that's good a lot of necklaces this time around i got a little pistol i don't know what that is the first time i've ever seen one of those Here's Clyde. It looks like a pair of wings or, or half of a heart. And I guess the other half is the, the girl, his girlfriend, I guess, or wife. And that would be the other part. Uh, another piece of Catholic jewelry. Uh, this also has some stuff on the back. A Madonna looks like on the back. It's not precious. I didn't see any markings on it. This is what I really like. I really like that. That is really cool. That's an anchor. Well, it looks like a cross uh, with an anchor with an eagle on it and a rope around it and uh, I've never seen that before it's not precious metal or anything but it's really a nice find I really like that and uh, what would a preacher digger episode be without a cross I did get my cross got it out in the deep water about uh, five and a half foot deep got it out there where nobody else could really get that deep uh, but got my cross I'm happy about that I got uh, four rings all together this is going to be a wedding band. Uh, it's non-precious metal. You can see that the silver wash is going off of it. But it's a wedding band none the least. I haven't tested the diamonds. I don't think it would be non-precious. Got a couple of uh, two-tone stainless ring. And I got a silver spinner here. Stainless ring. And the best ring was going to be this silver ring I got yesterday at the lake. I guess it's a... Turn it around. I guess it's a U or is it an N? I don't know. I have no clue but it is silver it's a nice find and so overall it was a pretty good day for two lakes and all of that came out of two swimming areas and about half of the out of one and half of the out of the other one and so there's all the trash here's all the treasure and like I always tell you folks the greatest treasure is not what can be found in a lake and sitting on the back of your tailgate the greatest treasure is what can be found up in heaven keep searching keep looking up until we meet again I just want to say happy hunting and God bless